Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzel. I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. So we're going to address some of the comments. Um, I think only a handful of comments, maybe so, one. Yeah, so we work really hard to read and respond to every single comment that comes in. And over the course of our last 15 million plus views, we've had six comments where people have talked about um, maybe you guys shouldn't be so jokey. Maybe it shouldn't be funny. This is serious medical information. So could you get rid of the jokes and just give us the cold, hard goods? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're, we're presenting medical knowledge and we try and do it in a light and entertaining way, and which is tricky sometimes because we do talk about things that Seriously. aren't funny, yes. but we try and uh, keep things entertaining just so that people watch and people learn. And not to make light of it, because no. obviously when people are in pain, that's horrible. Yeah. And we're, that's it. we're in the pain business, so we certainly empathize with, with our patients and with our viewers, for sure. So one viewer or a couple of viewers said, can you try and make one, you know, can try not to put the jokes in, right? Um, so that's, I, I, that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, I think I remember, I think one of her comments was, you know, you guys are putting too many jokes. Can you try and you know just get to the medical information? And then you, I think, replied to that and said, um, you know, well, there's lots of channels out there that are serious. We try and be entertaining. Yes. And her reply, I believe, was yak, yak, yak. So <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously upset with. So we're going to try and make a serious medical video. The other thing I think that upsets someone is when we go off on a tangent. Sometimes. We're like a dog and a squirrel, like probably a low yeah. grade level of ADHD, definitely right here, we'll maybe make a right video there. About that. But yeah. The, uh, yeah, so we go off on a tangent where we're talking about one thing and then all of a sudden we veer off and we're talking about something Radical. completely unrelated, much like we're doing right now. Yeah, good example. So, yeah. Nice. So we're going to make a serious medical video. Okay. Um, and want to set the stage? Uh, yeah, so. So I guess first, I mean, don't imagine us in the operating room. Mm -hmm. Imagine us in like a, an office with like really boring colors, maybe some ugly old furniture, just nothing flashy at yeah. all. Um, I'm wearing a blue jacket, gray slacks, white shirt, tie with uh, no bright colors and a very subtle pattern. Maybe some patches on the elbows. Patches are a little bit... Too flashy? Mm, they're a little bit lighthearted. I think it. no patch is a little more serious. For my jacket, you can wear patches if you want on yeah. yours. I'm not sure what I would. Maybe a three-piece suit, I think. That's going overboard. Yeah, yeah. And, a white, and a white lab coat, obviously, over top. Lab coat, for sure. And some glasses. Definitely Even some if glasses. you don't need them. No, for sure. Okay, so here we're going to make a serious medical video. Okay. Okay? You're not Brad, I'm not Paul. You're Dr. Weenie, yes. I'm Dr. Zal Zal. That's right. And we're going to pick a topic. I don't think you can do it. For starters, I'm just going to say that. I don't I think, think you can keep it. I think there's an outside chance that I can not smile during this video. All right, we'll try. Welcome to another episode of Discussions with Physicians. I am Dr. Salzel. I'm Dr. Weening. Today we're going to be discussing the origin of the funny bone. Funny bone. That's very interesting, Paul. Mm -hmm. um, using common terminology like that, I'd rather use the proper medical names for things like that. Well, we want to debunk some myths about what the funny bone is. We'll talk about what it is. I think you may be surprised when you learn actually what the funny bone is. Um, we're going to talk about sort of some symptoms and uh, some anatomy about it. I'm very excited to learn about that. Okay, so what's the most important thing people should know about the funny bone? I think that it's actually in fact not a bone at all. It's a nerve. Shocker. The funny bone is actually a nerve. It refers to the ulnar nerve, which courses down your elbow, just at the end of your humerus, as you can see here. It's a nice demonstration of where the nerve lives. So the funny bone, which is really the ulnar nerve, uh, innervates the arm. It gives sensation to the fifth digit and the ulnar aspect of the fourth digit here and here. So one and a half fingers. The remaining fingers are covered by the median nerve, which we have discussed previously. Yes. And what happens is that if you hit that part of your elbow on some type of structure, unfortunately, it will cause pain, not humor. That's right. It will cause pain and a zinging sensation down your arm. You could bang it on the edge of a table. Yes. You could bang it on a doorknob. You could bang it on a wheel of sharp cheddar cheese. So it's twice a misnomer. It's neither funny nor a bone. Yes. And there is a coincidence that the 
bone where the nerve courses around is called the humerus, which you may also think is funny, but it is spelt different. I saw what you did there. I don't like where you're going. Well, I'm just saying that the humerus and the funny bone are closely related, but it's entirely coincidental. Neither of them are funny. The term funny bone dates back to Old England, I believe 1867, somewhere around there, and it got its name because of that sensation that people would get when they knocked that nerve. Nice. Is there any specific treatment for an injury to the funny bone? Well, you can't break the funny bone, but you can certainly damage that nerve. Um, sometimes it's very sensitive and it needs to be transposed or moved to another area surgically, which is called an ulnar nerve transposition. Right, so sometimes it can click or cause chronic problems, chronic funniness. Yes, it can. Um, some treatments that are not surgical would be stop leaning on your elbow if you're finding you're getting frequent numbness and tingling down that area. Um, and wear elbow pads if you have to be in a situation where you are leaning on your elbows. That's good advice. <clears throat> you can take that to the bank. That's a nice summary of the funny bone and what to do if you have a problem with it. I just need to read our disclaimer because these videos are for educational purposes only. One Thank second. You. So the disclaimer appears at the beginning of our videos and in the description section and a full user agreement exists on our website talkingwithdocs.com. Do not use the video for metal, medical emergencies. If you have a medical emergency, call a physician or qualified healthcare provider or call 911 immediately or whatever number is appropriate for your country. As I learned, in some countries, 911 will not get you an emergency service. One of our viewers told me that. I was not aware. Under no circumstances should you attempt self-treatment based on anything you have seen or read in this video. Thank you for reading our disclaimer. We hope you enjoyed our serious medical video on the funny bone, its origin, and some of the signs and symptoms. And if you like this video or found it useful, please take the time to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Please remain cognizant of the fact that your health is your own responsibility. Goodbye.